What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. We have seen some major features of One UI 8.5, but in today's video, I will be discussing about some additional new features which you may not be aware of. And these are pretty exciting as well. So let's dive right into the video. The first one is within the camera application. Now when you go to the camera application and tap on more and tap on pro video, this is where you will see this brand new button. This is called show controls. Now, if you're someone who take a lot of video on the pro video mode, this is gonna be useful because when you tap on this, all these controls will vanish. You can see, there we go. We have got a very clean viewfinder. There is no obstructions here. There is no uh, controls shown over here. And if you want them back, you can just tap on this again to get them back. And just tap on that again, the controls will go away. Now, this is a very nice feature addition on One UI 8.5's Pro Camera Video Mode. Apart from that, I don't see any major changes here, but this is the initial build, so we can expect some uh, useful changes on the camera application as well. Now, inside the gallery application, let's say I want to hide some of the images or videos, I will just select them and tap on this three dot button. You will see this brand new option, Move to Private Album. Now this is not new, this was available on One UI 8.0 as well, but that wasn't available by default. We had to enable that in Gallery Labs. But now on One UI 8.5, we can easily tap on Move to Private Album to move all those images to Private Album. Now those files will be completely secure. You can tap on this three dot button again. You will see Private Album right here. Just tap on that. And to access this, of course, you will have to use your fingerprint ID or your uh, face ID. And this is where you will find all those images and videos that you have hidden. Now this is available by default. Now you don't really have to go to the uh, settings and then go to the gallery labs and here you don't have to enable that feature. It is available within the gallery application now. Now the next one is very useful and interesting because now Samsung has integrated the gallery assistant application within the gallery application. Now if you are not aware of gallery assistant application, let me just show you that. Now this is the gallery assistant, which enables us to edit multiple images or videos at one go. I have made a dedicated video about this application. I will leave a link for that in the comment section. I'll pin the comment. Do go ahead and check this out. We can select up to 500 images to reduce the size, rotate and flip, image clipper, add watermark, uh, compare images, save PDF, print, all this can be done within a gallery assistant application, which is a very useful application which Samsung has recently launched. And now on One UI 8.5, we have got this integrated into the gallery application. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let's say I want to edit a few images here. I will just select some of them here, uh, maybe nine images. And now I'll tap on this three dot button and you can see we have got gallery assistant right over here. I can tap on this and it will take me to gallery assistant application. And here I can, let's say I want to reduce the size. I can tap on this. All these images are selected here. I can change the image size right here. You can see it's 29.85 MB, all images included. Now, if I want to reduce it to maybe uh, 11 MB or 12 MB, I can reduce it here. I can further make it smaller, maybe uh, 9 MB, 5 MB or minimum 0.3 MB. Of course, the resolution will go down, the quality of images will uh, deteriorate. However, this is how we can reduce the sizes of multiple images at one go and we can save the copy. Now, let me just go back. The same images can be used for rotating and flipping and we can use the image clipper and we can clip the object from all those images at once. Uh, we can add watermark. Uh, basically, it's a very, very useful feature for editing multiple images and now this is integrated within the application. We should also be able to select the videos here. Let me select some videos. I selected five videos, tap on three dot button, tap on gallery assistant. It will take me to gallery assistant for editing the videos as well. So gallery assistant is now available within the gallery application on One UI 8.5, which is very nice. And you can also see this floating bar. It's actually broken on this version of One UI 8.5. This is the initial build. So it doesn't work that well, but you can see we have got this gradient effect on this floating bar inside the gallery. Sometimes that does disappear. As you can see, it just disappeared and sometimes it does get that gradient effect. Maybe in the future we will see some changes on the floating bar here. And now while we are within the gallery application, let me tap on this hamburger menu and go to settings. You can see the gallery assistant is shown right over here. It's available within the settings, so it is completely integrated within gallery application. Next, let's go to the gallery again. Let me just open a specific image over here, maybe this one. Now what I'll do is I'll tap on AI button over here you will see a brand new AI editing page here. It's completely revamped. 
you have got all these options right here at the bottom. Earlier, it was very difficult to find these options. You had to swipe from right to left to find the additional options. But now we have got everything available right here. We've got the object eraser, we've got move option, and we also have adjust angle option here. And by default, this is on generative edit page and we have got suggest erases option. When I tap on this, it'll automatically suggest us to erase some items and we can tap on generate to remove those unwanted objects. Let me just leave here. And then we have got create option and we also have the restyle option right here. Let me tap on this pen icon. You can see we can now draw anything here on this image to generate a new image. Now that is how this works. This is a brand new page. Next, let's go to the Wi-Fi network here, Wi-Fi settings here. I'll tap on details and tap on this three dot button and tap on intelligent Wi-Fi. Now here I have enabled connectivity labs feature. If you're not seeing this, you can keep tapping on intelligent Wi-Fi multiple times. You'll be able to enable connectivity labs. Let me tap on this. Now here there is an additional feature which is pretty cool. That is switching to mobile data with AI. Now there is AI integration on Wi-Fi switching as well. Let me tap on this. We get two options intelligent link assessment and intelligent network switch. This is a bit technical to understand, but uh, the point here is we have now got AI integration for switching to mobile data from Wi-Fi network. And we get two options, learn from Wi-Fi link data to intelligently switch to mobile data, switching to mobile data based on Wi-Fi handover history along the user's movement route. So uh, probably I will deep dive into this in a separate video, but this is a new addition that we have. Next, let's try the brand new quick share. We've got some brand new animations as well. Let's try that. Uh, we have got the uh, One UI 8 over here on the S24 Ultra. Let me just select a few images here. I'll tap on Share and tap on Quick Share. Now you can see we have got Receive and Send button right here. Uh, I'm just sending these images to the other phone. Let's tap on S24 Ultra. It's connecting and this is how we receive the images here. And we have got a cool animation there in the background which shows it's sent. Let me do this again. Share, quick share, and I'll tap on S24 Ultra. You will see the background here. The moment it's shared, you can see that effect in the background, which looks pretty cool. Now let's try to receive something. We have got that new animation here as well. Uh, let me tap on this and select a couple of images and tap on share. And let me tap on quick share, S25 Ultra. This is how it looks. Uh, it has got this beautiful gradient background again. So we are seeing gradient backgrounds in more or less all the UI elements on the S25, uh, on the One UI 8.5. So that is something to note here. You can see it says five images received from ENS S24 Ultra, 12.59 MB. We can open it or close it right from here. Let me tap on open. We can open all those images within the gallery application. Now that's the new animation that we have on the quick share. Next, we have got another cool change here. Let's go to the gallery again. Let me open a specific image here and let me tap on edit. Now here, let me tap on this option here. This is the tools. Now here you can see we've got a brand new option called tidy up. Now when I tap on this, this will take me to shadows and reflections. This is also available on the One UI 8. Uh, when I tap on object eraser, you will see this pop up. Try the AI powered eraser in photo assistant for cleaner and more natural looking results. Now here, if I tap on not now, it will show me erase shadow and erase reflection option here. But now here on the newer version, all I need to do is just tap on tidy up. I will get to see shadows and reflection. Now what we'll do is let's go ahead and tap this object eraser and let me tap on try it out. Now this will take me to the older version of generative edit option. Whereas here if I tap on object eraser, it will directly take me to the uh, object eraser option. This is the older version. If I don't want that, I can tap on this AI button to go to the uh, object eraser option here. You can see suggest erases option is here, or you can also draw something over here like this to remove something from the background or whatever you want to remove from the uh, image. So there are some changes which Samsung has made on the gallery editing features as well. Now there is another feature within the gallery application. Let me tap on this three dot button here and here as well. Now you can see on One UI 8, we don't see this option called clean out over here. Now this feature is there on One UI 8, but uh, here we have got this on this ellipsis button. When I tap on clean out, it will show me delete duplicate pictures and get rid of old document. Now this is available within this menu itself. Now let's move to the next interesting feature. Let me tap on a menu here on the gallery application and tap on settings. You can see we have got a brand new option here called detail enhancer. When we tap on this, it says automatically upscale this resolution when you crop or remaster an image or when you change the key image on a motion photo. Here we can select minimum, maximum or off. 
Now I don't really remember, I think this feature is also available on One UI 8.0, but I am not able to recall where exactly this is. Uh, if it is not available, this is the new one which is on One UI 8.5. Automatically the AI will upscale the image resolution when you crop or remaster an image, which is a nifty feature. Now let's go to the lock screen over here. This is the One UI 8 lock screen and this is the One UI 8.5 lock screen on the right hand side. Now let me press and hold on this and unlock the phone. We just entered the customization menu here. Now let me tap on the clock over here. Now on One UI 8, you can see only for these two clocks, I can increase or decrease the boldness of the font here. Whereas for the other clocks, I cannot do that here as you can see. Whereas on One UI 8.5, not only for these two clocks, I will also be able to do this for the other few other clocks as well here. Uh, not for all of them, but some of them, it is allowing me to increase or decrease the uh, boldness uh, of the font here, which is a welcome change. Whereas here, it allows me only for these two clocks. As you can see, none of the clocks, it is allowing me to change the, uh, uh, the boldness of the font. That is something to note here. Next, there is a minor change here in the UI. Let me go to the settings here. Tap on Galaxy AI, Galaxy AI on the 8.0. Uh, as you can see on 8.0, we have got personal and secure folder buttons here at the bottom. Whereas on the uh, newer version, we have got this on the top. You can see personal and secure folder. So that's a minor change that we have uh, here on the Galaxy AI setting. Next, we have got some changes in contact creation page as well. Let's say I am creating a contact here. I'll tap on the plus button. You can see uh, when I tap on create new, the card is smaller here. We have got this add card here, which is in, uh, smaller in size. And we've got add picture here. Whereas here, there's a lot of uh, space wastage here. You can see this is vertical and this is a small circle that we have. That's another change that we have. And within the call application, we also have this brand new feature now called direct voicemail. I have already made a dedicated video about direct voicemail feature. When you're unable to answer, this will allow the caller to leave a voice message. You can send calls to voicemail from the more options menu on the incoming call screen. You can also set calls to automatically go to voicemail after ringing for a certain amount of time. So this is a very nice feature and it is working perfectly fine. I have also demonstrated this feature on my previous video. Go ahead and check that out. Maybe I'll leave a link for this as well in the description. Now, apart from this, there are many other changes which I have already discussed on my uh, previous video about this One UI 8.5. Uh, do go ahead and check the link in the description. We've got some very cool changes in the quick panel editing. We can now increase or decrease the size of each and every item here. And we can also place the uh, volume bar and the brightness bar vertically, which is a very nice change. So you can check out my other video where I have discussed this in detail. That's about it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Drop a comment and let me know what do you think about these changes? Are these welcome? Do you think Samsung should have added more features, more changes? Drop a comment and let me know what are your thoughts. Now this is just the initial build, the first alpha build of One UI 8.5. There'll be many more changes happening in terms of UI, in terms of animations, in terms of features. There'll be a lot of additions and deletions. So let's wait for that. I will keep you guys posted. So if you want to know more about this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. And do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volverse. There are some amazing wallpapers available on this application. Uh, almost every day I keep updating uh, this app with new wallpapers so that you don't get bored of this. So go Go ahead check this out the link for the application is in the description thanks a lot for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye